Let me tune in there with your boy Blau. Huh. So wake your game up and wipe the press up out your ass. Let's get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome LeBron James. Before I get started on the, uh, the speech that I have, um, I want to acknowledge all the lives that was lost Sunday morning. Alyssa Altabelli, John Altabelli, Carrie Altabelli, Peyton Chester, Sarah Chester, Christina Mauser, Ara Zabanya, Gianna Bryant, and Kobe Bryant. Now, I got something um, written down. You know, they asked me to kind of stay on course or whatever the case may be, but Laker Nation, man, I would be selling y'all short if I read off this shit, so I'm going to go straight from the heart. The first thing that comes to mind, man, is all about family. And as I look around this arena, we're all grieving. We're all hurt. We're all heartbroken. But when we're going through things like this, the best thing you can do is lean on the shoulders of your family. And from Sunday morning all the way to this point, now I heard about Laker Nation before I got here last year about how much of a family it is. And that is absolutely what I've seen this whole week, not only from the players, not only from the coaching staff, not only from the organization, but from everybody. Everybody that's here, this is really, truly, truly a family. And I know Kobe and Gianna and Vanessa and everybody, thank you guys from the bottom of their heart, as Kobe said. Now, I know at some point we will have a memorial for Kobe. But I look at this, I look at this as a celebration tonight. This is, this is a celebration of the 20 years of the blood, the sweat, the tears, the broken down body, the getting up, the sitting down, the everything, the countless hours, the determination to be as great as he could be. Tonight, we celebrate the kid that came here at 18 years of age. Retired at 38 and became probably the best dad that we've seen over the last three years, man. Tonight is a celebration. Before we get to play, love y'all, man. Kobe is a brother to me. And from the time I was in high school, to watching him afar, to get in this league at 18, watching him up close. All the battles that we had throughout my career, the one thing that we always shared is that determination to just want to win and just want to be great. And the fact that I'm here now means so much to me. I want to continue along with my teammates to continue his legacy, not only for this year, but as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love, because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out, but in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother.